Baylor at Iowa State. Now let's go on and pull up the spreadsheet. These are the current numbers. These are this year's numbers. There are no priors in this. This is my formula and my numbers on this. So if you see something different uh, anywhere else, that's what's up. Uh, now I do have a couple of different sets of formulas that I run through. This is the main one with just the stats, right? Just stats. Uh, you look at this game. Iowa State is a two and a half point favorite. Latest line at Bet US. The total sits at forty five and a half. It's twelve p.m. Eastern time game on ESPN two. Uh, Baylor is nineteen and seven against the spread in their last twenty six against winning teams. Iowa State, after a straight up win, they are three and seven against the spread in their last ten. Uh, you look at Matt Campbell. He is not normally good in these kind of situations. Um, I mean, it's it's bad. Five and twelve against the spread. Chris Felica from Game Day actually put this out. Uh, but he said that uh, in games where the spread is between you know minus two and a half and plus two and a half, Matt Campbell is five and twelve against the number. He has not been good in these spots. Now, if you just look at the numbers, there's not really a mismatch that you can point to here. Um, I I don't see you know other than I, I know this Iowa State not good at running the football, uh, Baylor really good at stopping it. Um, as far as passing offense goes, Iowa State, I mean, not great. We're looking at number 40 um, in PPA per pass, and Baylor sitting at number 38 on defense. Uh, Iowa State's not explosive throwing the football. They're not explosive running the football. Um, field position, like Baylor seems to be doing better against that. Uh, Iowa State better on defense. But, again, when you play Iowa and then, uh, you know, a couple of G5 FCS teams, obviously the numbers are going to look good there. Now, this is very much uh, weighted. It's it's opponent-adjusted, right? So strength of schedule here at number 92. The ESPN strength of record metric is, is strange because it's got Iowa State at number 17, and I think that's because of the win at Iowa. Uh, but I think that they value Iowa a little more than I do. So regardless, um, you look at this, you know, at number 66 strength of schedule, uh, Baylor's got a loss at BYU in overtime, where they missed a couple of field goals. If a special teams comes into play here, yeah, Baylor could maybe see some issues. But when I look at all these stats, um, I'd, I'm i going to ride with Baylor to cover here, plus the two and a half. I need to see it from Iowa State in a close game, it, even at home. Like, I just need to see it. So I'm going to ride with Baylor to cover the two and a half. Uh, that metric about Matt Campbell or that that stat five and twelve against the spread in games you know between two and a half and two and a half. Yikes! I don't like that one. I don't like that at all. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.